because five wins in a row for Max Verstappen. It doesn't matter where he starts, he seems to have it covered. And the team seems to take advantage of every opportunity too. How pleased are you with the way the whole outfit's performing? I think uh, you know, the whole team's working at an incredible level and uh, we got the calls right today. Uh, it was frustrating with Checo picking up a flat spot early on because you know, that put him out of sync because um, we saw a level of vibrations that were getting very dangerous. So that's why we changed onto the hard early on. But he again had great pace. So uh, you know, we had the race under control. Um, I think everybody was robbed of that last two lap shootout. But uh, you know, I think we need to understand why that happened and work, you know, because this goes against the principles of what we've always talked about. So, uh, you know, hopefully lessons can be made from that. I was going to say, obviously, it did favor you in the sense that Max didn't come under threat, but you were looking forward to having a fight for those final couple of laps if we could get going again. But well, we always want to win, you know, under racing conditions. And uh, it felt like, you know, I think Max would have had it under control, but I've, uh, you know, it was um, enough time to get racing again. And I felt like the wrong car was perhaps picked up by the safety car and then it took more time to sort out and they just ran out of time. So, uh, you know, it was frustrating for the fans and, uh, and the race is in us. You know, we want to win under racing conditions, not, not safety car, which I believe we would have done. And do you think that's something where maybe red flags are needed in the final few laps of a race to make sure we get a racing finish? What would you propose to make sure that happens? I think there was, uh, we need to look at why it took so long to get going again because that, that took too long to, uh, to, to restart in what looked like, you know, there was uh, no damage to the car. It was, um, yeah, not in a barrier or anything like that. So, um, yeah, you know, lessons to learn. And just a couple more. One, uh, Checo had uh, a fire on the front right brake disc, it looked like, uh, during that pit stop. Was that correct? Was that the issue? And, and were you concerned how bad it got? It looked like uh, some debris got into the brake duct and uh, uh, on the right front. And um, it took a couple of laps for it to burn itself out. And the temperatures went through the roof. Uh, and then thankfully started to come back under control. But, you know, he drove a great race. His pace was strong in the race. And um, he was unlucky with the safety car at the end that he didn't get a chance to attack Lewis um, because we think he would have had the pace to do it today. Yeah, I think he's still got the fastest lap, though, so another point there. And if we look at the overall picture, Max now mathematically, I believe, can win the title next time out in Singapore. I mean, how amazing is that, the way this season started? And um, we've been getting the T-shirts printed already. No, look, um, you know, Max is... Uh, in incredible form. He's walking on water at the moment. And I think that, uh, uh, you know, to win five, five in a row, um, despite two grid penalties in the last three red ra three races, uh, is a phenomenal performance. So, you know, we're just going to keep attacking each race and then ship tables tend to take care of themselves. Well, it's uh, a lot calmer finish the season than last year, at least for you, but Christian, well done today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Red Bull's Christian Horner there, uh, like I said, with a smile on his face. And now a bit of sunburn, so I've kept him standing in the sun. There you go.